the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go back. Hey, how's it going? It's Ron from The Boxing Voice. I'm here with world-renowned promoter, Lou DeBella. How's it going? The Boxing Voice. <laughs> the Boxing Voice. <laughs> Don't you love us? Oh, come on, man. You know, I love everybody. Absolutely. So we're here in Philly. You got hey, a hometown. I love Philly. Well, you know, this is uh, one of the greatest cities in the world for boxing. Incredible history. You know, Philadelphia fighter. Everyone knows what that stands for. And, you know, Tevin Farmer is a slick boxer. He's, a, you know, he's an incredibly talented kid. But he's also a Philadelphia fighter. He loves to fight. He's old school. He's a throwback. You know, and people are going to get a chance to see a you know, terrific show here on March 15th uh, in Philly. You know, he's fighting John O'Carroll. An Irish kid, it's right around, it is St. Paddy's Day weekend. Yeah. St. Paddy's Day is Sunday. We're fighting Friday night on the zone, um, USA. And John was a colorful kid, big talker. He uh, talks a lot of smack, very, very, got a big beard. He's a, he's a really interesting kid and fun to, to listen to. He's a fun fighter, very high volume puncher. He's got snap in his punches. He's not a one punch knockout kind of kid, but he throws so many punches that he can. You know, he can hurt you with, with uh, accumulation of punches. Absolutely. And just real quick, I, I just talked to uh, Tevin. I thought, you know, I like to go back in boxing and do a little history, let alone you've been around for... All right, well, I'm going to give you a history lesson. Give me a... Because you I I'm going to give you a history lesson. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Because I can't find any story similar to Tevin. Well, there, there, there's so much historic stuff involved with Tevin. First of all, a guy that starts 7-3-1, and one, gets called on a week's notice for a show back box fight, puts on a good performance, loses to Pedraza. He's 7-4-1, and one, and he's calling me every month after that. I'm working hard, I'm working hard. I got a new manager, I'm gonna get wins, I'm gonna get wins, I'm gonna get wins. You gotta promote me, you gotta promote me. And I, and I knew like four and one, that four and one part, that's a problem to yeah. get television interested in you. It's a problem to move up the ratings. It's a problem, I mean, it's gonna take historic effort to get yourself into the position where you can fight for a title. Absolutely. Well, this kid does it. Have you ever, have you heard anyone? Like no, a story I mean, well, like I mean, there are a couple in the history of boxing like him. I did look it up. I mean, I, off the top of my head, I can't give you the names. It's real hard. I mean, it's real hard because it's a handful, and in, in, in like that you could even remember yeah. a handful, and, and, and in the last 20, 30 years, yeah. one or two. Yeah. Um, so, but but he's on an, an, just an incredible run. Um, never left the gym. Never stopped believing in himself. Absolutely. And then gets gets you know blows out his about to fight in an elimination about blows out his bicep. Recovering from the blown out bicep, has to break up a, a, a dispute and get shot through the hand Absolutely. where the doctors didn't know at first if he would ever fight again. And, and the he kid goes, he goes and, for the title shot. Goes for the title shot and he gets robbed. Robbed, like completely robbed. And then the other kid tests positive for a banned substance. And then he goes to Australia and gets the belt. And, and there we go. There okay, but here's some more history. Even he's making history all the time. Okay? This will be on March 15th in Philadelphia, his homecoming fight with a belt is the first defense of his world title at his hometown. Will be his fourth title fight in seven and a half months. Ridiculous. Fourth title fight. His third defense of the title and fourth title fight in seven and a half months. Now, I was going back over the last 50 years and I couldn't find a fighter anywhere in the world that's had four title fights in seven and a half months. That's what I'm saying, it's just really hard it's to un, I mean, it's such a throwback thing. But when you talk about throwback, here's where it gets interesting. Tevin Farmer's great, great uncle was oh, one yeah. of the greatest fighters who ever lived. Uh, Joe Gans. Yes, yes, yes. Jersey Joe Gans. Exactly. Joe Gans, one of the greatest fighters that's ever laced up gloves. And Joe Gans in 1904, for 13 times. Pretty all wins, one draw. The only draw was to another Hall of Famer, an all-time great, Jersey Joe Walcott. Oh. Okay? 1902, Joe Gans fought 19 times. 19 times in 12 months. Well, his great-great-nephew was about to have his fourth title fight 
in seven and a half months and and make some modern history. He needs a movie. So, get him a movie. Get him. A movie. Uh, you know, you never know, man. I, you know, I've made movies before. I've been. You know, yeah, that, that, that's something else I mess around with. So let me tell you something. His story could be a movie, and maybe it will be. Now, now, quick question. You know, obviously, I talked to. Ted By Lynch. the way, this is a good fi card. There's other stuff on the card that should Absolutely. be fun. Katie Taylor. Look, Rosado you know, and 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 and, and Selecki could be a really fun fight. Um, Katie Taylor, one of the best female fighters in the world. Absolutely. I mean, around right right around St. Paddy's Day, so you, got, you got that Irish yeah. flavor. She is in Ireland, the boxing superstar. Are we so, going to get that Amanda Serrano? Katie yeah, Taylor? you're going to get that Amanda Serrano Katie right. Taylor fight eventually. But you know what? I mean, enjoy them both when yes. they're fighting now until you get that. No. But I, I, I think you're going to get that, and it's not going to be too long before you do. Now, other question: Are we going to get a unification with Tevin Farmer, Tank Davis? You know, the fans are all screaming for the Tank Davis. Um, just, you know, just you know, Tevin loves to fight. Tevin's yeah. not afraid of anybody. These guys have been talking smack to each other for a long time. Um, Tank's got a fight scheduled now. Abner Mars. Right, exactly. And, and, and he'll be back in the ring. And, and they're, they're both fighting around the same time yep. here. Um, so there aren't similar sort of schedules going forward. Are you guys um, pushing for that fight? I know, I know him as a fighter. You'll fight anybody, but on, on your side, are you guys um, yeah, the, 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 the fight will inevitably be happening. But right now, I'm, I, I, I got a real like. Dude, I, I'm a very superstitious motherfucker. Yeah. yeah I, I don't, like, take anything for granted. And John yeah. O'Carroll's a, a real fighter. And, and I'm not looking past this one. Um, I mean, I'm look, really... Look, Keith I, look, look like I'm Keith also Thurman thrilled a... with... The, look, you saw, you know, Keith, Keith Thurman had a, a couple of, you know, long period of time off. Came back. I thought it was a sensational, fun fight. Um, but that guy took him, you know, had to walk through the fire there. Yeah. You know, I mean, well, I'm not looking past... You can't look past anybody. Yeah. And, um, and you know, Tevin's got a real fight on March 15th on... Zone USA in Philly. Absolutely. Um, so uh, I'm not really looking past that. I, I, yeah, I think that a Tank Davis fight is inevitable. Yes. Um, and I don't think fans are going to have to wait crazy length of time. Mm -hmm. But, it, uh, you know, we'll see. Now, I got, I got to poke the bear. You already know Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, two. New York guy. Is it coming to New York? Is that, like they're saying MGM Grand, Barclays, you're giving me that stare. Um, <laughs> It'll be announced when it's announced. You know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Brooklyn guy, so you know where my heart sort of is. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. There'll, there'll be an announcement. You know, Deontay's been out there yeah. on social media telling everyone he, an announcement's just, coming yeah, soon. He was just at Barclays. You know? oh, yeah, well, he was at Barclays, and I think the announcement is coming soon. And, and you're going to have to wait and see, bro. Well, the reason why... I, I, you're going to have to wait and see. So am I at the moment. <laughs> the you're going to have to wait and see. The, you know, Anthony Joshua's out there trying to maybe get his fight. You know, and obviously the fight... Uh, dude, I'm like, uh, who... <laughs> who are you talking about? Who? You know Anthony Joshua. Uh, who? Who's that? The guy that don't want to fight Dillian White, that don't want to fight Tyson Fury, that doesn't want to fight Deontay Wilder, that guy? What do, you, um, what do you think about if they come in June? Madison Square Garden, they come in... Look, I've always thought, from a standpoint of, of, of an Anthony Joshua, it, it, for your career, for your image, fighting in the United States is an important thing. Mm -hmm. And coming, you know, New York's pretty much the capital of the world. Mm -hmm. well, I'm, a little, I'm a little biased. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I, so, I, I, I mean, here it's I probably it's a good place for, for him to fight at some point. So we'll see if that happens. Jarrell Millie, I, I, know, I know Jarrell since he's a kid. Yeah. So I, I, I'm hoping he gets an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. With that being, you know, would you would you go to that fight? Masters for Garden, see Big Baby Miller up there? Um, <laughs> yeah, see if someone invites me. <laughs> yeah. uh, would I go? I'm sure I would go. You know, it's a New York guy. Yeah, yeah of course. But do you, do you think do you think it's going to be White or Miller if you can kind of just throw a wild guess? Because at this point, uh, you know what? Fans the, the guy's at the airport about to come here, and he's Anthony Joshua's you guys so you don't have to. You, you have to guess a lot less with, with, with talking to Eddie. I'm not going to talk for his fighter but, but, or about but, his fighter. But pretty much, we're getting Wilder Fury, just figuring out where it's at, when is that. You know, the, the heavyweight champion has been speaking on social media. You've seen what he's been saying, yeah. so it's a pretty. You know, I, I, you know, just wait and see. I think there'll, there'll be something that's going to be announced pretty soon. Okay, and then last, you know, of course, um, the UK fans. You know, some people are like why is not in the UK? Can you explain like why is you know in the US? Because some people feel like maybe it should be in the UK. It, you know, I mean, you know what? This is called prize fighting. Absolutely. Prize. Yes. Prize. Yes. Take that word, fighting. Okay. And it, you know, it's it's really about the opportunity for the fighters to maximize their dollars. Boxers have their careers are limited in length. So there's more money in the U.S., right? If there was more money in the U.K., we'd probably be going to the U.K. Well, when they say like the ninety thousand stadium, you know, they fill out. It doesn't make it. They, the, the reason why I say this is because then Las Chavez Vegas is able to offer things and, and New York is able to offer up opportunities and tickets can be priced at numbers that are different and then US pay-per-view you can't go at four o'clock or five o'clock in yeah. the afternoon and you know Fury's kind of following and as rabid as British fans are Tyson can fight late night 
in the UK and still get an, an audience there. I mean, no one here in the middle of the afternoon, you can't launch a big pay-per-view promo promotion in the United States yeah, in, in the middle of the afternoon. So um, there's a lot of factors that come into it. I'm not saying it's not possible. There could be a huge fight in the UK. It just has to be someone has to come up to come to the table with an economic deal that works. When it is announced, you could pretty much count on the fact everyone involved is going to be happy because the money's right. Okay, and very last last. Prize fighting. Tyson Fury, Wilder, are they 50-50 fighters when it comes to Anthony Joshua? Get the fuck out of here with this question. <laughs> you know what? Eddie's going to be here to go talk to him. Well, I'm get saying, get I'm, his I'm spin saying, on. I'm, saying, I'm not even responding okay. to that. All right? I'm, good to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you. The Boxing Boys. I love you. <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon com backslash the boxing voice with tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace